Too power, you stupid bastard. Does he look like a paddy? <laughs> Sir.
You all right, Linford? Ruben, what are you doing around here, man? What, you out on leave or what? Nah, I'm for good. You? I got your guns? Nah. Cut the bunny for fuck's sake. Uh, Rude, meet me, 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 Rude. Listen, mate, I've got to shoot off. Uh, see you later, soldier boy. You got a shame address? You're going, black boy. Keep your hands out your pockets and I'm against the wall. Where are you going? Home. Oh, yeah, where's home? Over there. Hands on the wall. Yeah, so how comes you ain't seen you around here before then? You've been away. Oh, yeah. Where's that then? The scrubs. Now, nah, the Falklands. Listen, pal, that was an English war, not a jungle war. Through Pala, eh? Well, there you go. Reuben. How's it hanging, Rube? Loose. Talking of hanging. What's all this saying about you hanging up your guns then? Where'd you hear that from? <laughs> no secrets on this estate, son. You know how it is. Yeah, ducking and diving. Fucking and scribing. Well, come on, Rube. Well, I never thought you'd come back to this toilet. Thought the army was supposed to take care of its old soldiers. It's good enough for a flash bastard like you, Cole. It's good enough for me. I don't live here no more. Where'd you move to then? Nicebridge? Nah. Surrey Docks? <laughs> Why, well, I don't leave it there. Converted wolf. Architect on one side, film director on the other. Two bedrooms, satin sheets. 
breathtaking view of the Thames. 150 grand. For 30 quid a week, you can get a breathtaking view of the 19th floor here. Yeah? But I'm a yappy room. Watch the chair, Cole. It's got dirt on it. So, what are you going to do now, then? Have a bath, Cole. No. I mean, now you're back in the land of the living. Well, you always line me up with a few things. Yeah. Yeah. You all right for pocket money? Well, listen. If you ever need anything, give us a bell. It's my Irish lover. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you finally did it. You son of a gun. Ruby! Never thought I'd see the day. Me neither, fish. Me neither. <laughs> Something for you first. Oh, thanks, You're fucking eating the drink again, haven't you? There you are. Satisfied? Don't fucking look at me like that. Ruben's here, eh? What do you want us to do? Drink holy water or something? I told you before, Tony, don't swear in front of the kids. Shh, there they are. Must be another one of your Irish lovers. Hey, Debs. <laughs> don't just stand there. Come on, son. Get stuck in. Welcome to the funny farm room. <laughs> I told you, Bob, I'll give it to you as soon as I get it. You told me the same thing last week, Fish. Oh, hello, Ruby, you out on leave? Uh, no, I have for good. Yeah, you stay out of this, all right? Listen, this is the last time I'm going to come round for it. I want it by Monday, right? What are you going to do, Bob? Fucking nick me! Bob, hang on a minute. I don't want to take it off him, Rube. I know how hard up he is. How much is it? It's 200. No, I can't take it off you, mate. Just take it. Listen, Rube, I don't want to hassle him. Don't worry about it. We'll go out one night, yeah? You, me and Fish. Sweet. Oh, 
fish. This is me, Ruben, remember? Yeah. Sorry. Let's get out of here, right? I told you this was a place to see dancing. Home too late. We'll get a drink here. Birds and all. Hey, come here. Hang on, hang on. All right? Hello. What's your name, then? Come on. Ah, French, are you? <laughs> So where are you from? Paris? Mm-hmm, yes. <laughs> Hang on, uh, French. Uh, uh, comment vous appelez vous? Tu parles français? Oui, oui, uh, uh, <laughs> I was at school, you know, uh, à l'école, grade two, CSE, yeah? Uh, moi, je m'appelle Fish. Poisson. <laughs> oui, oui. Maze, maze mon propre nommé Tony. Ton ami s'appelle comment Ruby. Oh, j'ai fait ici. Sorry. Ah, oh, forget it. No, no, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, we'll see you inside, all right? I mean, uh, vous allez nous danser, all right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, look, look, look. Wait, man. Wait. Boy. Sorry, boys. Full up. You what? You heard. Full up. Now sling your up. All right, Dennis. So what is it? Ain't my leg sexy enough for you, or is it his colour? Leave it out of fish, let's go. No, 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 hang on, hang on. I didn't come all the way up here for a cunt. So let's go until... somewhere else, all right? That's right, fish. You listen to me. Oh! Finger on me, mate, and I'll do you for child batteries. Turn out your pockets.
And the rest of it. And the rest. I ain't got nothing, mate. She's got it all. What's in there? Which one is it, Rag? That one, mate, that one. Ow! Uh... Does Ailey Rogers live here? What if she does? Well, I've just been burgled by us. What now does she live here? Nah, she don't. All right, well, in that case, you won't mind if I come in and have a little look, will you? Where do you think you're going? I told you once, she don't fucking live here, so get out! Made a mistake. I told you once before, get out of my fucking house. Ruben James. Yeah, my friend of Andrew McKenzie's from Two Para. Mr. Roberts. You don't. Well, he's supposed to be managing director. Why electrical? We went out of business. Um. No, no, never mind. Thanks. What do you want? I uh, found these. I thought they might be yours. Hang on a sec. What? Thanks. Shut up. You're full of shit, man. Who are you, Ruby? Yeah. So it's all that. <laughs> Ruby, no matter what, just come out of the army. Rascal. You must think I fool like you, black. A black man in the army? No, boss, can't believe that. Let's try it, huh? He's a war hero. He fought in the Falklands. What do you want to go all the way down there for? He could have stayed up here and had a rock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mentality of a bullfrog. Pint and Guinness and the Jamesons, please. You might put some money in this first. Love it, Fuck off. Set her up. You're 
finished. Him kill a whole heap of Argentina, man. It's way your chat, boy. Boy! Me don't know. Oi, soldier boy. How come you never check me? What am I, black or psych? I don't know, mate. Who never thought you'd end up joining the army and get paid to be a hooligan? <laughs> hooligan? Look who's talking. Yeah, but you were the worst, mate. Dr. Martin should have given you a pair of gold plate boots to matter if you kicked in. We must have been mad supporting that poxy team. You and Colin supported that bunch of wankers. I never did. But you didn't mind us lot steaming in whilst you nipped in a few jewelry shops, did you? <laughs> you made a lot of money, too. So what are you up to now, then? Or is that a silly question? You know the coup, Rube. Ducking and diving. Yeah, fucking and skiving. Speaking of which, Rube, you like a bit of organisation in your life, what, being in the army and all that. Yeah, it was a silly question. <laughs> well, with this, right, you can sling your file of facts and dress book and diary right out the window, because this is all you need, mate. Pocket computerised per personal organiser. It's called a piss on. It's called a what? Piss on. <laughs> you never could read, could you? It's called a sign. And no thanks, I don't need Come on, Linford. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what then, mate. Toshiba, mini hi fi, 100 quid, 250. I don't want any stuff, all right? Suit yourself, soldier boy. You in this game or what? You know what? I'm coming. See you later, mate. Hey, Linford. You never forgave me for joining up, have you? No. But why should I? Is what this country ever do for you? No, no, I didn't join up with any country. I joined up with me. We were going nowhere. I just wanted to move on. It's a crime in that. So is where you did now. Right back where you started, mate. I'll see you later, mate. What's it for this time, Chaloner? Touching dogs' asses? Where's your bum chum, Mickey Limford? I don't fucking know. What am I, his mother? Don't get funny, Bunny. Why don't you get off my fucking back, Chaloner? Because you're a two-bob thief, that's why. Five o'clock last Friday. Where were you, Twinkle? Fucking your wife! Yeah? Yes! <laughs> don't do that, Chaloner, ah. we will ya. All right, Linford? Yeah, I'm all right. Friday, 5 p.m. Where were you? I was with him. Is that right? That's right. Where was that then? On the high street. Just before I bumped into you. How long were you with him for? About an hour. Maybe more.
I'll give you a tell for it. Sweet. Washed it off, didn't you? Oh, I've been busy, Cole. Eh? Yeah? Looks like it and all. Get in. Where's the gear? Don't do gear no more, Rube. Cleaned up. What with? Axle grease. Smell this. <laughs> Pack of a band. That's all I got on me, mate. Pack of a Rizzler. That's all I got on me, mate. All right. Under the desk. Was it now then? Bank robberies. What that? Nah. Too much like hard work. Put it away, Rube. It's a dangerous weapon you got there, Colin. Don't take me for a mug, Rubin. I know what it is. So, what do you reckon then? Reckon you've come a long way, Cole. Of course I have. Is that all you got to say? Pleased for you. Oh, I'm pleased you're pleased. Listen, I won't fuck about. I've got a proposition for you. I knew this was coming. Shut up and listen. You like this? Well, you can have some of it. I want you to be my partner. Do me a favor. That's just it. I am. I don't need any of those kind of favours. What's this look like to you? I'm not talking about villainy. I'm talking about business. Look. Clean hands. 
So what's the shooter for then, Colin? Because the world's full of dirty bastards, Ruben. Nah, you got the wrong man. I'm not nulling again anymore. Nah. You're a paratrooper now, ain't you? Good old British paratrooper. Fought for your queen and country down in the Falklands. Well, what have you got to show for it, eh? What have you got to show for it, Ruben? What? Honor? Pride? Yeah, that's right. Yeah? Well, my pride's sitting out there in a car park. All 30 grand of it. What do you got? Yeah, Randall Security. Yes, that's right. Can I speak to Mr. Randall, please? Who is he calling? Mr. James. You from where, sir? Uh, well, I'm not from anywhere. I mean, just just say two power. Two power. No, the number two. The what, sir? Two. One two. Spell para. Para. P. A. Ah, oh, forget it. Both legs, especially for you. It's uh, Thursday night. We're going out, Ruben, remember? Come on, you're going to ask us in or what? Yeah, yeah, come on. Go on, aren't you? Well, come on, where's the booze? In the fridge, your mug, where else? You got a passport on you? Yeah, it's run out, right? Because you can't count to Paris unless you got one. Me, you, Michelle Simon, dirty weekend. What are you playing out? I forked out 200 quid for you to pay him. Pay who? Nobody. Now get in there and mind your own business, you nosy copper. Beat me up, Scotty. The sods down here don't want to know me. I want them, Rube. 315 Newmarket, Irish Eyes, centre, one Bosch, one bar length. Here's your 200 back, you tight fisted bastard. I don't get it. I thought you were skint. Where'd you get the money for the bed? Social Security. 100 quid bed and linen graph for a new baby. You what? <laughs> or one 800 quid root. Debs can have her bed and linen. We can have our dirty weekend and everybody's happy. Oh, come on, put your ass in the gear or we'll be late. <laughs> Oh, where to, darlings? Yeah, yeah, very funny. What floor? Eight floors. Eight floors. Eight floors. Look about this cliff now. 
I can't remember. Can I make sound of noise? <laughs> Oi, lads. This is Tony. This is Styly. It's Larry. It's Luke. You know Mickey, don't you? Pete, this is Ruben. Oi, Sean. This is Ruben. You remember my brother Sean, don't you? Yeah, right. Last time I saw you down here. Fried fish and dumpling room. I told you, mate. So what? Him the man them called Ram, bro. <laughs> Switch off, Sean. This is rude, mate. I appreciate what you done for me the other day. Ah, uh, forget it. But do me a favour, right? Don't ask me to do it again, all right? Ah, oh, look, Rube, I couldn't help it, mate. Chandler's trying to stitch me up for an armed robbery on the estate in broad daylight. I mean, what's he take me for? A fucking mug? I don't know, Lindsay. <laughs> oh, come on, Rube. Look, I'll tell you who done it. Deadheads. They're what? Well, junkies, who else is going to pull a stunt like that? I don't know, Lindsay, but you were definitely at the swimming dodger that night, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate, if you had Ben Gay in the back of your mother and suddenly old Bill everywhere, you'd look fucking dodgy at all. <laughs> Answer machines. <laughs> Panasonic, see, I got it right this time. Right. <laughs> you don't want one, do you? No, I didn't think so. What's up? Right, behave yourself, all right? <laughs> all right, mate, look after yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Medals for then. Uh, campaign medals, that's what they are. Give them to everyone, even the cooks. What were you then, a major or something? <laughs> Little me, major. Leave it out. They didn't give me a shot at me first try till I was eight years in. I went to see this officer. Lieutenant La Di Da. 22 years old, straight out of Sandhurst. Never done a proper day soldiering in his life. And he had a nerve to sit there, tell me I wasn't ready for it. Is that why you got out then? Because you never got no promotion? Yeah, that's one of the reasons. What's the other? He knows it, yeah. Guys are being stroppy. I don't know. I woke up one morning and thought, 
can't go on playing soldiers all my life. Do you reckon it was a waste of time, then? Nah. I was just a silly little black kid always getting into trouble. So the army must have done me some good. Right. I'll get my ID to join up tomorrow, then. <laughs> Then. What about it? What was it like? Well, we're exactly 96 degrees in the shade. It's cold, damp. That's why I remember most of all. Did you kill anybody? What's so funny? Nothing. If we move like this, we had one man at the front, one at the back, two front gunners. My mate Fish was one of the gunners, I was the other. How about trying a man instead of an animal? From where I'm standing, there's only one man, but I can see plenty of animals. Oh, what have we got here, then? That's something you'll never have. I wouldn't want to touch you, just in case I caught something. The only thing you'll catch is your dick and your flies. Some other time, eh? No. <laughs>
Fish, you're right. Of course not. Fuck off and leave me alone. Right, but if you don't want to know about your new baby, it's fine by me. What? I'm sure we're supposed to drop it till next week. Well, she dropped it this morning. A girl. Seven pound, three ounces. Oh, fuck you now. She's gonna kill me. Is she all right? Yeah, she's fine. I get down there. I don't believe this. To think I fell for that war hero crap. What was he? No woman to look at you because of your leg. You bastard. Shut up. They should have shut your balls off instead. How's it now? Nah, still about half a bottle of scotch in there. Yeah. Go take these tickets. I ain't gonna be need them now, am I? Yourself. I might take you around the block a couple of times tonight. Listen, uh, how do you fancy going away for a weekend? I said I'd take you around the block, not drive off into the sunset. No, we ain't driving, we're flying. Where to? Paris. Got a couple of tickets for the end of the month. I don't know, really. Why not? I can't just run off on holiday with every man that I meet, can I? I'm not asking you to go on holiday with every man you mean. I'm asking you to go with me. Hey, Ruth, I want to go today. So, how about it? What more can we do about her? Bring her along. I'll buy her another ticket. I've got a better idea. I'll leave her with me mum. <laughs> Come on, Ruth. <laughs> Come on, Ruth. Try and put your maid on bed. So you want to say, boy? No, the wolf, man. The wolf, man. Come on, in. Got it, mate. Six shots a pound. We mate. Barrels, Ben. All the same, mate. Try this, mate. Six shots, six pounds. What's wrong? 
much, Stacey. Nothing. Oh, come on, Stacey, what have I done? You ain't done nothing, so just leave it, all right? Yeah, you! So what is it, then? You want to know? All right, I'll tell you. I looked at you just now and I thought to myself, here I go again. What are you talking about? Guns. Men and guns. Guns? What, what? They, they ain't guns, they're pea shooters. What, you want to know about guns? Well, I'll tell you about guns. I'll tell you all about guns and what they can fucking do. Yeah, well, that's just it. I don't want to know Ailey's father knew all well, about guns. Well, what do you expect from me? I was in the army. Yes, I know that. It's just that I thought... I'll forget it. No, 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 no. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. I want to know. We had a nice house. Nice car, wore some money, never wanted for nothing. Oh, I knew it wasn't straight, but I thought sit back and enjoy the ride. Why not? He's paying. And then one day I'm in Ali's bedroom changing the sheets of her cot. I turn the mattress and there it is. A shotgun. A shotgun in my kid's bed. So I started to find out little things about him, about the robberies and the violence and all the security guards he's crippled for life. So when they put him away, I made up my mind. Never again. Listen, look. It's not me. I've hung up my guns. For good. What, you go cabining, then? Yeah, what about it? Well, it's, it's a bit small, isn't it? I've had no complaints of my customers, if you don't mind. Oh, well, they must all be midgets, and I say. Mum got this really fat geezer stuck right in a oh, bag. Oh, no, don't tell him about that. The 16 stone he was right, and when they arrived, he got stuck there. It's called a fire brigade. <laughs> didn't he, <laughs> Mum? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, Ruth, you ought to give it a go. Give what a go? Cabin. Governor's always looking for drivers. So what am I going to drive, then? A bumper car? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll do a little deal with you. Yeah? I'll rent you my motor and you can do nights. Nah, don't fancy driving weird people around all night, do I? That's all about that, then. I've just done it, you know? Let's go. Get out of my way. Ruben, isn't it? What about you? You see anything? No. Paratrooper. Right. Ex-paratrooper. All right. Ex-paratrooper. You know what it's like when one of your own gets it. Help us out, Ruben.
Alright, Gerard, just give a pass when you finish, okay? What about you getting your hair cut? We'll support you. We'll support you. Oi! Oi! It's four pan. Yes, my lovely. Hackney. Princey boy, Hackney. Right, you bastard. How much is this going to be? Uh, we're bouncing Hackney. Mare Street. About a fiver, do you? Fiver? Straight fair, though. Thanks. What's wrong with me, then? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing here, then? Keska say, we are on our way. It's your old one, isn't it? Yeah. What do they mean I'm not fucking British? With reference to your recent passport application, I'm sorry to have to tell you that under the provisions of the British Nationality Act 1981, you are no longer eligible for a United Kingdom passport because you cease to be a citizen of the United Kingdom and colonies. If you should wish to consult the Home Office about the possibility of acquiring British citizenship... What are they talking about? Can you not be British? You were in the British Army. So, you came here from St. Lucia when you were... Four, shall I? Yes. And you've not been resident anywhere outside the UK? Well, apart from tours of duty now. Well, I'm very sorry, Mr. James, but despite your excellent army record, I can't make a special exception. I don't understand this. I had a British passport. Yes, but the passport was issued to you before the 1981 Act. Now, under the new law, since you were born in St. Lucia, which has now become an independent country, you no longer have citizenship of the United Kingdom colonies. Well, I can die for the United Kingdom and colonies, can't I? You can put me out there as a front gunner to get me bleeding head blown off. I'm British then, yeah? Yes, but you still become a British citizen. Uh, all you have to do is send a cheque, 200 pounds. Send it to me, I'll, I'll hurry you along, because I know you want to go on holiday. You don't understand, do you? The 200 pounds has got nothing to do with it. I appreciate your predicament. Appreciate? You don't appreciate nothing. Where were you when the bullets started flying, eh? I'm behind your desk, shitting yourself like the rest of your kind. Well, I was out there. In the cold, in the dark, in the shit. I watch my mate, a man who saved my life, get his fucking leg blown off. Appreciate. Don't make me laugh. Now, 
another look. I've had it with you two. Now get out. We better go. Person that touch me. That's him. Huh? Yeah. Look, look, it's all right, Roy. Look, we'll, we'll come back. Come on, come on. Uh, look, see him for a minute. Come on, come on. Sorry, I'm sorry. What's he fucking want? Do you right, Debs? Are you the husband? Yes, yeah, that's right. Would you mind moving out of the way, sir? Please, Ruben, don't start anything. Move away, Debs. Move out away. Now, you? You and you, fuck off. Don't be stupid, son. <laughs> You come back, you get more of the same now. Fuck off out of it! I can't stand it anymore, Tony! I can't stand it! He's gonna come back with the police! He's shut the hell up! What are we gonna do, Tony? What are we gonna do? I ain't setting foot in this house, that's for sure. They try it, I'll fucking blow them away. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Debs. It'll be alright. See you later, fish. Where are you going? I've been worried about you. You didn't get that passport, did you? Come on, babes. We'll go to Brighton instead. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, now why are you calling? Fine, sir. Yourself? Well, you know how it is, Colleen. Looking and diving, fucking, skiving. Tell me, Colleen. What's happened to your friend, hmm? Was it, uh, Teddy, was it? Sorry, Teddy. This is Reuben. Terry's abroad. Did you hear what's happened to Robert? Yeah. Silly bastard. Had it coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Well, people are getting too trigger-happy in this country, don't you think, Colin? I told you before, Sadiq. No takeaway talk. <laughs> Colin! Colin! Well, you know me better than that. Bring the money. Jello. I'm always doing business with you again, Carl. Don't worry about it. Pakistan was up. Walk on, Rubin. That's the easiest five grand you'll ever earn. 
Keep it. Now you keep it. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought we were partners. This is where the partnership ends. Switch me off. I'll well, switch myself off before they do. Fish, give me the gun. Let me room. <laughs> Fucked off back to Ireland. <laughs> Took the kids with her. <laughs> Three fifteen, New Market. Irish eyes. Now get over there and sort it out. Harry and me, we passed out together. 
Just like you. In that photograph. Wonderful thing at passing out parade. Makes you proud, doesn't it, Reuben? Harry was proud. Proud to be a policeman. Proud to wear the uniform. So proud. When they gave him the chance to be a glamour boy and join the CRD, he wouldn't have it. Not Harry. He just wanted to be a bobby on the beat. Now he's dead. They killed him, Reuben. What do you want from me? I told you before, I never saw nothing. Nice drive up to Birmingham, isn't it? I used to do that run a lot. Trouble is, I've got a weak bladder room. I always had to stop for a leak, one of the motorway services. Newport Pagnell. You know that one. Get a lot of funny people in those toilets. Arab sheiks. Indian Sikhs. Pakistani Sadiqs. Do I make myself clear, Reuben? Don't know what you're talking about, Kilcoyne. Let me fucking tell you then! Kilo of smack. That's what I'm talking about. You're in the shit, son. Right up to here! Find the man that killed Harry. Because if you don't, I'm going to see that you go away for a very long time. Mr. Francois. Thank you, sir. Here's your ticket to St. Lucia. You're confirmed for Sunday, 9th of November, departing at 11.45. Stacy.
Casey! Ruben. Yeah, well, what are you looking at? What are you doing? <laughs> what does it look like, soldier boy? Tooling up, mate. Yeah, well, you can't go out there and fight them like this. Whatever you hit them with, they'll only hit you harder. They're going to come back with water cannon, CS gas, rubber bullets, armor vehicles, the works. Yeah, well, let them come. Cause I'll be ready for him. Ain't it enough you kill one of them already? Look, man, we never meant to kill anybody. Look, we never meant to kill no one. All we wanted to do was just give Chaloner a good idea. It don't make no difference, Lippert. He's a policeman and he's dead. And they're gonna turn this place upside down till they find out who done it. Yeah, well, who's gonna tell him, soldier boy? You? Jesus Christ, Blanford. What's happening to you, man? This ain't like you. No. Well, this ain't like me. And this ain't like him. And this ain't like her. Look, this ain't like any of us. What do you think this is, a fucking tea party? This is war, Reuben. You've been in the army too long.
Sir, uh, where are you going? Which block? Crossman House. Ah, uh, sorry, this entrance is closed. We'll have to go back down to the Pageant Road entrance, okay? going all of a sudden? Same as you. <laughs> you crafty sod, you try and pack me off the poxy island while you fuck off for all day in the sun. Any wrong day. What the fuck's going on round here? There's police everywhere. Fucking okay, hell, Ruben, this is me. Fish, remember? Some other time, eh, Fish? So what are you gonna do out there? I don't know. Check out me on there. Maybe buy a boat, catch a fish. I wouldn't do that, Rube. It's a nasty disease. <sighs> Over there, become a gigolo. You always fancied that. Places crawling with rich American boats. <laughs> you jammy bastard. I'll tell you what, if it don't work out with Debs, We'll come and give you an Amazon, all right?
are you waiting for, Harper? 